Heading to so, I know that you were gonna talk something about the Cybertruck. No. Yeah. I was not. <laughs> yes. I was just gonna say. Yes. I what? was just not. I was just gonna say it's cool. Okay. It's cool. Okay. Uh, but like engineering wise, it's really cool. But of I course. like like analogy wise, I feel like right now it's an iPhone five, and it could become an iPhone thirteen. What do you mean? So like it's a, it's a right huge now, upgrade. Right now, there's like a lot of like stuff that they can make better Limitation? like limitations because like the lithium battery can't be in like very extreme cold mm. environments because mm-hmm. it's not gonna work it can't be in like sandy environments <coughs> right. it's, lo- it's like very sensitive it's like a baby so it has to like grow up and like of course, you know, mature of course. better so yeah. I'm just wait like I'm like the type who waits for like you know it to get better so you would get a Cybertruck too if it gets better <laughs> uh, it of course it's gonna get better come on it's an Elon Musk company bro I <laughs> <laughs> not like a guaranteed i still have to wait and see yeah i know i love i love evs bro like yeah i probably will get it at some point at first i thought it looked weird but it grows on you yeah yeah but like but like i like but in like if it's like electric truck like electric vehicles that we're talking about yeah. then i'm i'm i love electric vehicles yeah Same. yeah they're like they're a, it's a good um have you ever rode the ev no oh, go to orlando go to florida <laughs> mall okay they let you drive the tesla for free Ooh. yeah i think my Uber when I went back home, like for spring break, yeah. it was a it was a Tesla, <gasps> no and it was so cool. I was I was like, this is for me. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it was it was really fun. Yeah. It was, it was yeah. so smooth. So mm-hmm. cool. I was impressed, honestly. Yeah. What do you think? That's a nice Cybertruck. Cybertruck. I've I've been in a Tesla before, so which I'm one? In, I'm in in women of aviation uh-huh. and like our events coordinator has a Tesla. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. So wow. she, <laughs> she took us to an event. And like it was like super brand new. She was like, I also don't know what to do. <laughs> like, don't look at me. Which model? Like, which model was it? I have it? no idea. Oh, I forgot. It, it was, was it the one with the uh, door like opening like this or? No, 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 no. no, no. It's like no more opening doors. Sedan. Is it what? Is this SUV or sedan? I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> it's like a normal car. It's not an SUV. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think it's, it's a, a four door car. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> As you can see, we're not experts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm. I'm just a mechanic. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you know, for planes. They are. They are hiring. <laughs> they are hiring mechanics for Tesla. So yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Nah, I'll, I'll stick to aircraft. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's cooler. Yeah. <laughs> and more fun. Yeah. Now yeah. For but Tesla yeah. gives more money. It okay. depends. Like depends. Money? Depends. How? Yeah, depends on like internship wise. You can oh, get okay. quite a lot of money. Mm. From yeah. Yeah. Do, do, they, do they hire international students? Yes, they, they do. do. <gasps> no. They have way. a div- Yeah, guys, they have a diversity like program thing where they look for international students. Keep. What? Yeah, Chris, uh, Elon hi, hi, hi Tesla. If you're watching this, can you please <laughs> hire me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Elon. Elon is from South Africa, so hire me too. Oh, I applied. Yeah. My resume is with you. Really? You you applied? Of course. Oh, when did so did you get in? Uh, no, I just applied for oh. next summer because I'm like. No way. Yeah. Bro, send me the application. <laughs> yeah, I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. Yeah. 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 Send the for next summer? yeah. Uh, no, you just have to know the right people. Mm. Oh. No, for real. Mm. This year, what's your. I know you. Don't I'll tie. Share the <laughs> Networking, guys. <laughs> True. <laughs> Go to conferences. Take on EVs? No, th- uh, thoughts on the Cybertruck. What is Cybertruck? Oh my <laughs> god! Oh. Share the picture, share the picture. I'm so sorry. What? I'm so sorry, Brian. Oh my gosh. It's like okay. heartbreak. It's okay not to. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> continue one thing that just Ritika said. She said, like, go to conferences. That's what we do at FLC, make connection, guys. Yes, that is very and true. Let me just, like, but let me just, um, oh, like, funny. it's not a conference. It's more of a net, like meeting friends yeah. kind of event, yeah. not exactly like meeting professionals. <laughs> yeah. No, like the first thing when I heard it was a conference, in my mind it was like, I need to buy a suit. Yeah, yeah. like a meeting up conference. Yeah, like yeah. business. I I, yeah, yeah, but like it was really laid back, really yeah. chill. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was sleeping during the like. <laughs> the <laughs> no, Ritika, that, like the Rit- breakout room. Yeah, yeah, Ritika was a bad girl. <laughs> like was she sleeping. was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Most Bro, of I the time. <laughs> like that the week before I had three exams. I just didn't sleep the entire week. No, that's a funny thing. Everybody was studying. Yeah. 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 yeah we were studying during the conference. Yeah. Me and Irina, we were like go to the pier and then we'll be studying. Yeah. yeah. It was that's crazy. Yeah. So the first initial impression. Oh. It's cool. Yeah. Would you buy it? <laughs> would you would I buy it? Yeah, would you buy it? If you had money, yeah. No. Why not? <laughs> you don't think that sexy truck? Sexy. Yes, it is. No, no, no. <laughs> <Okay>. Sexy. <laughs> yeah. Stainless okay. steel, bulletproof. I, d- I don't like the. Body. Who's gonna shoot you, bro? Mm. <laughs> 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 
What? <laughs> Who's coming to shoot you? You never know. Yeah, you, you never, never know. know, bro. It's America. You, you live in Florida, babe. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've gone out. Out. I've gone out like two a.m. I'm fine. <laughs> the state is shaped like a gun. Bro, if somebody is, is gonna really? shoot the you, they're not gonna do it in the truck. Florida is shaped like a gun. It is. Yeah. Oh, kind of. Yeah. If you look at it. What? I mean, it's America. Everyone can buy guns. Literally. I know that. I knew that when I came here. Yeah. yeah, Rishi, have you ever seen a cyber truck? Yes, I do. And um, are you a fan of it? Well, I would say, yeah, the different perspective uh, to look at it. Uh, I've been on, you know, even yeah, though I, I didn't have any friends who own this or something. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, you know, you get to force, you get an Uber, which is like EV mm-hmm. in overall perspective. Yeah. The first impression I got, the car was empty mm. <laughs> because you don't have a lot of electronics inside, right? Right. But at the same time, I was talking to one of the you know, a uh, friend from a different state. Um, he has a like Tesla. When he was trying to go for like a car wash, mm. he actually don't know how to put it in a parking mode because you have to use the screen to put it in like a parking mode. Yeah. On his model, he he had like you know some struggle on, but you know he get used to so it. Yeah, that's what. I, so what I was going is, I mean, these kind of new technology, whenever it comes out, it takes some time for yeah. people to understand. There are mm-hmm. two different people. One ready for exploring whatever option is out there like i have a lot of friends who just want a new phone when iphone comes out say for example iPhone that's me 15, they <laughs> wait outside <laughs> like for four or five hours oh. which even if they pay me i wouldn't do it so <laughs> yeah. you know I, I might i might be in a different category but what my kind of way i would look at is i will wait for those people who they are doing like a good job because you mm. get opinions from them mm-hmm. uh, so coming back to this tesla the cyber truck I did comment a lot on it mm-hmm. um, because designing can be a little better, particularly with stainless steel. I do follow few people who, you know, you find your own uh, people who you trust based mm-hmm. on their reviews. Right. I felt the, you know, edges are very sharp. Maybe it's yeah. not that convenient for, you know, you can all cut the, the carrots. People. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that's, you know, would be scary. Will I invest that much money on it? Probably no. And at the same time, there are two more concerns that I felt if I am becoming like a CEO of another company, mm. um, you know, the luggage space can be more, number one, because... What, what space? Like a luggage, luggage. like if oh you take, yeah. you know, bag, baggage space or storage. Because the front is pretty small. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. When you looked at it, probably it's just, you know, suitable for two carry-on or like two check-in bags, not a lot. Yeah. Because if you think you're going to be a competitor for like pickup trucks on the other side, that's what they're targeting on, mm-hmm. not naming any company name. But still, <laughs> uh, you know, that can be improved and at the same time, I I felt as in a small safety concern that in the cyber truck particularly you cannot see the the back, rear like the yeah the mirror yeah that's the thing which yeah. was little you know they might have thought about it because that's a very simple safety <laughs> concern right it is so probably they should work on it but as people before talked about it too it's in an early stage it is it will be definitely better because over time I think people will slowly start moving towards EV mm-hmm. but at the moment. I belong to a category where I would choose a hybrid model. Mm. You know, later on, we never know. It could not be me. (laughs) But it could be, (laughs) you know, two generations after me Me uh, where I I believe my own house might have three to four EVs. It could be, uh, you know, uh, Tesla. Mm. Maybe there might be somebody, uh, you know, version two. But we don't know. I, I keep hearing about Lucid. Oh, yeah. Another side. Which they were luxurious EV. Yeah, exactly. So, as in what I would expect, probably they should look into people who can afford it. Well, Make it little affordable. The thing is, <laughs> the Chinese EV. Right. They are <coughs> they have like a $20,000 EV, which is crazy. Right. They're trying to overtake Tesla. And, and, you know, for the price point, they really lower their car price so people can buy. And, uh, you know, it's like, yeah, what do you think about the Tesla, uh, I mean, the China Chinese EV? Yeah, I, I mean... Uh, not to take anything personal to them, but you know, whenever there is a new model comes in, uh-huh. uh, I think we have a similar situation. I should mention it here just because you mentioned for the Chinese brand. Mm-hmm. India tried something like this called Tata Nano, mm. which is nothing but a very economical car. Is it EV? For a, it's not an EV, oh. but I'm targeting towards people who can afford it. Okay. Like a middle class, if you, you yeah. know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. So what they did, they just manufactured, say, you know, uh, 100,000 cars. There were like people who asked to apply for it. <coughs> and then if you get lucky, there is no other criteria. <coughs> like how it happens here for green card. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if you get lucky, 
you will be picked to get that car mm-hmm. and my family was one because my father wanted to just try it and then we looked at it of course like what we see right now mm-hmm. it was a new model they were trying to ha- they had a good cause mm-hmm. to make it happen yeah it was a decent car mm-hmm. if i think now now i'm in a situation where i can afford a car probably i won't get that because i already experienced it likewise i think even chinese one uh, if they have a good motive yeah i'm sure there will be some drawbacks it comes from because this is not something uh, you know it's going to be uh, same for if you manufacture you know 100k cars yeah it's like by time you will have manufacturing defect so you cannot if the reviewer had a good car that doesn't mean everybody will have the same or there won't be any mechanical issue probably no mm-hmm. but these are batteries the one main concern as a engineer mm-hmm. or like a future scientist they mm-hmm. will that way i really s- still think people who were are investing on ev or you know manufacturing people they should really consider how they can recycle the battery true mm. yes how yeah, important yeah. that's e waste particularly because these days there is a huge concern yeah. which probably we are not in the stage to you know understand what's going to happen but it's going to happen at one point it's going to hit us like yeah. you know everywhere is going to be ev where that at that point it will be like you know what's your efficiency rather talking about do am i still going to go with motor or something yeah but globally if you look at it i think all the governments are trying to implement this evs right mm-hmm. but there are a lot of uh, facilities that you have to create it's not about just making the cars which private If, industry will give yeah. direct you know source upon infrastructure is much needed charging station yeah you you can buy on your own but I think keeping <coughs> it like for public usage because whenever you talk about these kind of society based implementation mm-hmm. government does look at it they yeah. will give you some chances but at one point they're going to hit you crazy yeah so ev is good knowing how dangerous battery could be i would just give a pass there yeah mm-hmm. think about it it's yeah. your option if you belong that side choose your color if you like day go on that yeah if you like night go on that so yeah. from an engineering point of view i kind of nerded out for the cyber truck because mm-hmm. that's the ti- like the time where i was kind of like doing a lot of like research on like aerodynamics and mm-hmm. stuff and like honestly aerodynamically the design is oh sorry aerodynamically the design is like very like perfect and it mm. almost seemed like you know like those designs that they make for wind tunnels mm. like they are like very raw and like like um, almost like ugly looking mm-hmm. and i feel like the cyber truck is just that and mm. they just like put it out and but i kind of nerded <coughs> out on it cuz i was like oh my god that's so cool that's like yeah. like, like it's the perfect aerodynamic like right. like the laminar flow for the True. laminar flow it's like yeah. perfect so I it's can, like in that i can way, connect myself you know if you give our talk to a kid and ask them to draw a no. car it's yeah, going to yeah, be yeah. boxes yeah. or yeah, curves yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thing is the the cybertruck design is actually from Elon's son right he actually drew the cybertruck design there exactly. that is yeah. so oh my god i didn't know that yeah, yeah. so so, so it's from a kid's perspective i mean as in i'm not saying you know you might not it's just comes from nowhere kind of design mm-hmm. and you know you, you look at it of course they did all these kind of testing yeah, uh, based on perfect. what all it needs to be yeah uh, it's yeah as i said it's just uh you know if you like it you can uh go on and then yeah it's a, it's a you know uh there's a lot of haters about the trucks about the cybertruck mm-hmm. design and there's a uh, people who love the design and uh, <coughs> every time i see the the comments of the cybertruck there's always people hate about the design you know i say yeah. fuck it you know <laughs> <laughs> i don't give a f about you if you don't like the truck okay go drive oh. your old gasoline you know ford oh, truck bro.